What is good everybody, welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we are back with kind of a My Damn Thoughts style sort of video here today, man. We have some thoughts that I had the other day that I wanted to discuss with everybody, so I just figured I'd hop on here and talk a little bit about it. But we are just settling from San Diego Comic Con. Yes, the dust has finally settled. We are finally on the other half of it. Been a couple weeks now that, you know, we, we went out there, we got to tour everything, get to see everything in action, got to see the panel, got to see all the great things in person, but now the dust has finally settled. And and we are kind of like coming down, you know, we're settling down. Some of this stuff is starting to show up at stores. We're finally starting to get our hands on some of these products that we saw just two weeks ago. So we've already had a figure set recalled. I mean, we got a lot of stuff going on, lots of things shipping out. But today, man, I wanted to talk about the things that we did not see at San Diego Comic Con. I was sitting there late at night looking up at the ceiling, thinking about action figures, and it hit me in the dome that some things that we just did not see, we just didn't see them. And then I was like, that's kind of wild that we didn't see that. So I wanted to kind of talk about that list, get into those things, and you guys can let me know something that maybe you thought you would see at San Diego Comic Con that you didn't see, or, you know, a figure set, or a couple guys, or or whatever the case is, man, you guys can let me know down in the comment section below, but this is my list of figures that I was pretty shocked we didn't see, that I, or, or that I was like, wow, holy crap, you're right, we didn't get those guys, so let's go ahead and dive into my list, man. The, the first figure set on my list that I think a lot of people were kind of expecting, and we can kind of dive into that a little bit, is going to be the style. Steiner Brothers, man. I thought for, I, I don't know about like an absolute fact, but I was about 90% sure we would see some form of the Steiner Bros together in a set, whether it be like an Ultimate Edition 2-pack from Ringside Collectibles. You guys know that we are getting the Usos soon. I think those should be shipping any day now. They did a giveaway for SummerSlam, so I'm guessing that the Usos have to be shipping probably this week or next week, man. I mean, it, it should be any day now the Usos should be coming, but the Steiner Bros, man, I thought for sure we would see some sort of Steiner Bros set. Of course, we did get the Elite 105 Scott Steiner. We got the Elite 105 for Rick Steiner, but I thought we would get some sort of set together. I thought to myself, maybe they'd be in the Coliseum collection. Even though I know those are usually a throwback to the LJNs, I thought maybe they could replicate their Hasbro figures or their Galoob figures or something like that. Didn't see that. We didn't see any Steiner Bros, which really shocked me. You know, the Coliseum Collection series with the Hart Foundation with Brett and Anvil, those look to me like hand-painted prototypes. Were those like a late addition? Did they have to change course there? I don't know about that. I, I don't want to just speculate there. I'm just, you know, throwing a thought process that I had out there, you know, it's something that I thought about and I wanted to mention it. But Steiner Bros, man, thought for sure we'd see some sort of Steiner Bros or something like that. Didn't get them, man, so that was kind of wild to me. Another set that I thought we would see is no new Hulk Hogan figures, man. We didn't see any new Hulk Hogan. No, but seriously, though, there was like 17 new Hogans. There was, I think it was like 13 or 14 new Hulk Hogan figures. They definitely didn't short us on those, did they, Brad? But the next figure in my set is no Demon Finn Balor. Now, I know the Demon Finn Balor is not one that is super ultra out there. We did see him back at WrestleMania, and I think we probably will see a figure of that sooner or later, right? I mean, you would have to think that a Demon Finn Balor would be coming, the purple demon with all the good stuff, maybe get a kendo stick in there. I mean, they could do a really sweet demon there, and we didn't see any. We didn't even get to see a, a render. The only Finn Balor we got to see was the Judgment Day Finn that was that Elite 107 figure that should be nice. That whole wave looked pretty good. So Elite 107 Finn Balor looked good as a Judgment Day Finn, but no Demon Finn Balor. That kind of disappointed me. Really wanted to see some sort of Demon Finn Balor. I'm glad that we got a non-Demon Finn Balor, but I low-key, I wanted a new Trunks Finn Balor, and we didn't get that. So I, I you know, that kind of bums me out a little bit. But you know what? We just have to live with what we got. Elite 107 Finn should be good, and I'm looking forward to the figure. But we didn't see any Demon Finn Balor, and uh, I wanted to mention that one. Another one that we did not see was any Randy Orton's whatsoever. We didn't even see a basic, I don't think, of a Randy Orton figure. Now, I do know that we saw the Ultimate Edition. I actually posted a review of the Ultimate Edition already on the channel if you guys want to check that out, but we only saw the Ultimate Edition men on card. We didn't get to see it loose or anything like that. Of course, Randy, Macho Man Randy Savage was canceled. Of course, we didn't see any new figures of him, which kind of confirms everything we kind of thought about that, and we kind of, I don't think we ever did a full video of it on the channel, but it's kind of, it's pretty much right. They're reworking a deal. That is pretty much the answer to that question is why we didn't get any Randy 
Savages. But as far as Randy Orton's, we didn't see any Randy Orton's, not to my knowledge. I don't even think, again, we saw a basic figure. So we only saw the Ultimate Edition, and that's a figure that we already have in hand, or at least I have in hand. So that was kind of weird that we didn't see at least a, a basic Randy Orton somewhere along the line. But nonetheless, Randy Orton is another guy. And when I say, usually, you know, like when we talk about new figures of guys, I'm talking about the elites, man. I want to see a new elite. I want to see a new Ultimate. Like, yeah, I guess a basic is okay sometimes. And the new basic should be much better when it comes to getting new figures of people like LA Knight and Top Dollar and like new fresh faces in the line. But not having a Randy Orton figure is pretty bummy. Now, next up, another one that kind of blew my mind is we didn't see any John Cena elites or ultimates. Now, you're going to sit here and you're going to say, well, look at that WrestleMania elite John Cena. But that wasn't really what I had in mind, Brad. I mean, this is a literal bare bones John Cena, the one that we saw. A, a lot of people are dragging this WrestleMania wave. They do not like it. The Trish Stratus is straight up Hall of Fame re-release from the Target exclusive back in the day. The Pat McAfee is okay, but it's pretty plain Jane. I don't know how well that's going to move. Even though I love Pat McAfee, I like this figure. A lot of people are dragging it. The Rock has a new head sculpt and everything, but it's very similar to a lot of Rocks we've seen in the past. Even though I do think this is an upgrade rock, not the most exciting figure in the set. And then this John Cena, and I know I just saw we, did, we didn't see any new John Cena elites or ultimates. We did see this one. But my God, man, this one is like the bare bones minimum. The basic that they showed off of John Cena is better than this Elite, I would argue. It doesn't have a shirt. It doesn't have any of those things. And while I do like this new basic John Cena we're seeing, it still isn't an Elite or an Ultimate. I think if this were an Elite, it would have been hands down fantastic. But it really shocked me that we didn't see any new John Cena that was like over the top. Even though, I mean, for a basic, this is a nice basic. But no like crazy over the top John Cena's, right? No attires we haven't seen before besides Besides the basic, again, we, besides the basic, but that really shocked me. That we didn't see any ultimate for John Cena or anything was kind of weird. And this one right here really blows my mind. We did not see, besides one basic, we saw one basic Cody Rhodes. Outside of that, we saw no new elite Cody Rhodes. They did put out on display the new top picks Cody Rhodes, but we did not see any ultimate. I thought for sure we would see some sort of render or something of a mainline ultimate. Cody Rhodes Ultimate Edition, and that's probably coming, but they didn't show it off, and they showed off a lot of stuff, and so I thought for sure we would see some sort of Cody Rhodes figure, an elite, an ultimate, because they did say that they were going to be pushing him out, right? They were going to be pumping Cody Rhodes figures out, so I figured to not necessarily get the Hulk Hogan treatment and get like 20 different Hulk Hogans, but I expected to see some sort of some sort of Cody Rhodes figure, right? Like, a, I know we got the basic again. I've said that a few times in this video now. I know we got basics, but I figured we would see an overload of Cody Rhodes, man. You know, AEW like to push him out. I figured that Mattel would probably do the same thing. And I know we probably have a lot in the pipeline, but if they were going to let us know about those pipeline Cody Rhodes, I figured it would probably be right here. So that was a bit wild that we didn't see that for Cody Rhodes, man. So I thought that was a pretty interesting tactic there. We didn't see any new ones whatsoever. And another guy that we didn't see whatsoever was Bad Bunny. We didn't see any Bad Bunny figures. And Steve even got into the ringside collectibles Q&A session. And he had somebody asked about a Bad Bunny figure. And he said that that Walmart listing, apparently Walmart listed up like a, a Bad Bunny exclusive figure or something like that, and Steve said that he they got it wrong and that they do not have Bad Bunny in the works or anything like that right now. So Bad Bunny was not on the table at all or anything like that, so that, that kind of shocked me too. I thought for sure we would see a Bad Bunny. We got to see the Damian Priest from his match with Bad Bunny, and you would think that they would probably show that off. I don't know what the all deals and all those different things were. I, I think that a Bad Bunny figure would do pretty well, you know, and I thought this kind of goes hand in hand with our next thing that I'm going to talk about, but Bad Bunny, I thought for sure would be a figure, and not only that, I thought we would probably see a basic of him and maybe an exclusive of him, and when I mean exclusive is a Mattel Creations exclusive, a Ultimate Edition pre-order window or something like that. We did not see any Mattel Creations exclusives. I thought for sure we would see, you know, this, like they'd have a figure on display, like a prototype or something and they would say look this is going up for pre-order don't miss it or a render image and say this is going up for pre-order this date to this date on mattelcreations.com be sure to pre-order it I thought that that would have went really well hand in hand with San Diego Comic Con even though they did have the ultimate edition you know Muhammad Ali maybe that maybe that's why and I guess you could say that was the Mattel Creations exclusive but I was thinking some sort of figure that would take a year to make similar to a Logan Paul situation similar to the Cody Rhodes ultimate I thought it would be 
here's the figure it's up for pre-order this date to this date definitely go grab it if you guys want it and i thought we would have a render image and it would be like this whole thing and they didn't do that now they did have again they did have the muhammad ali there at the mattel booth that you could purchase they also had it up for pre-order i think on that friday early in the morning so i guess you could call that the mattel creations exclusive but i meant more of like a window that we would have to wait about a year on or maybe they just didn't like that model or I don't know what the case was, but I feel like the Logan Paul and Cody Rhodes figures have been well received, so I firmly believe that we would see more of figures of that style, and I wish I would have asked them if that style or that way of getting figures out was going to be continued, but nonetheless, we didn't see any Mattel Creations exclusive, and that kind of blew my mind, and outside of a Mattel Creations exclusive, we didn't see the new Defining Moments. We did not see any Defining Moments pack. I thought maybe they would show off the next set of those figures. You guys know that I think they're doing like one Defining Finding Moments Elite 4-pack per year, and they already have next year's figures already finished, 2024's figures, and I think, like, they've already got the 2024 figures, like, solidified for the most part. I think they could plug in some figures, but I think for the most part, they have, like, all the way up to next year's Comic-Con, or at least the early part of 2024 pretty much confirmed. Like, maybe the first few months of 2024, those figures are already in the works. Those figures are already far in the process, so I guess we'll have to see about that, but I thought we would see the Defining Moments pack i hate that we didn't i guess we may have to wait until ringside fest or something like that i don't even know when that is but i thought for sure we would see some sort of defining moments pack i'm really excited to see what the next four pack is i really can't wait to see who those are however the defining moments pack was not shown in any way whatsoever and then the last thing that i thought we would see or maybe get hinted at or something like that or maybe we'd get some information on is there was no crowdfunding information we didn't see any crowdfunding information you know nothing like a teaser or nothing like hey this may be coming down the line now i guess you could say that maybe that little mini stage over there in the display with the lex luger in front of it with the wcw ring maybe that could have been considered the crowd fund or something like that or like a teaser potentially for a smaller version of that but i'm not going to accept that uh you know we didn't get see any crowdfund information they didn't tell us anything like that so i i don't want to speculate on that but crowdfund didn't see it and i guess it'll probably be a while until we see another crowdfund man i mean who the, who the hell knows who knows where they're going with it uh i'm i'm still just supported that one that, that one's going to be one of my like collecting woes probably for a while is going to be not funding that crowd fund or that nitro stage so that was pretty bummerific but there were plenty other superstars that we didn't see or some figures that we didn't see of new characters of course we got to see two new seth rollins or three if you count the greatest hits even though we already knew about that one but there were just a lot of figures that we did not see and there were some talents that we did not see that was kind of wild to me so i would like to know down in the comment section below what you guys think what you wish they would have shown or what they didn't show or you know holes in the collection i know there's plenty of women's figures probably that they could have done and i'm sure there's multiple other talents and things of that nature that they could have put out there but this is just the ones that stood out to me at least for my collection and what you know i was expecting but or what i was hoping for i guess but nonetheless man that is pretty much going to wrap up today's video now we did have two new signups to the patreon and I do want to give a huge shout out to those guys. So our first shout out is going to go to my man Maddie Miller or HPW Figs. Huge shout out to you, man. Appreciate you so much for becoming a patron. And then we also have a shout out to WWE Fan123 or Figure World underscore JP for also becoming a patron member, man. Appreciate you guys so very much. I always appreciate people jumping on the Patreon and becoming a part of that army. You guys are the absolute best. I appreciate you guys so very much. But that is going to wrap up this video, man. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'd like to know down below if anything was missing for you or figures that you wanted to see that we didn't see or things like that, man. I'd greatly appreciate it. Let me know all those things down in the comment section below, man. But I'm getting the hell out of here. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Leave me your thoughts down in the comment section below. I'm getting out of here. Have a blessed one. I'll catch you guys later and see you next time. <laughs>